I usually overcome the objection with everything I learned online in only 13 minutes. Then the system takes over and we get a heads up when someone's ready to list. Wouldn't you like to have a system working for you to connect you with repeat business and bring you success with less effort? The market rewards agents that have the right solutions at the right time. Shouldn't you take advantage now before it all changes? So welcome back to session two, which is how to spot opportunities using our 1031 exchange marketing tools. Before we get started with the class, let's take a look at what we learned last time. Before you get too far, you need to know who to talk to. And so we want you to be able to create leads with 1031 exchanges by knowing these prospects. Step one is put the link on your phone. Number two, use the links as you meet people and bring it up in conversations. But you want to register people, which is step number three. It's that simple. Okay, so let's get to the topic at hand. The most important thing is to show the client how these different scenarios are going to work for them so they can see themselves in the situations. Well, this is all about leads, leads, leads. All the agents that I've ever spoken to want more leads. So this is a way to get the client engaged, start conversations, and basically get them registered. I use the analogy of, you know, you don't really need to know how the watch is made, you just need to know what time it is as an agent. Okay, so now let's take a look at some examples in a PowerPoint that will allow people to see themselves and see how an exchange is going to work for their particular situation. Once they understand the end game, they're going to be happy to move along. Absolutely. So take a look. So we're going to learn today how to start conversations and create leads with 1031 Exchange situations and that'll allow you to open up more conversations and specifically address your prospects needs. In order to address the client's needs you need to know who to speak to and we've got here a list of suspects and prospects. People who fall into the following groups are likely to be good exchange prospects. If they want to sell a vacation property or a second home, they could be selling an investment rental or a single family home with a home office because the home office portion of the real estate is exchangeable. People in a divorce, believe it or not, are potential prospects because one of the parties typically moves out and the family home becomes a former residence and so they can exchange their interest in what is now their former residence. And if people are in a retiring mode, they're interested in liquidating investments that qualify, which would be rental properties, and buying properties that uh, they can move into in, in time period. People that are fixing up property can do so also in an exchange with tax-free money that's available in their exchange account, so they can not only buy a piece of property with the exchange funds, but they can fix it up with the exchange funds. So let's take a look at a couple of scenarios now so when you start a conversation and you're moving it along, you can determine if the person you're speaking to is a prospect for the situations that are exchange situations. So here, do you know this person? They've recently been divorced. They've moved out of their home and their former residence is occupied by their former spouse. So once they move out, they create a new legal residence. Did you know that they could be eligible for an exchange? Because they no longer live in the home, they are now able to exchange an interest in the home, which is their former residence. So by finding somebody in that scenario, you would get a listing and we would take care of the exchange and the client would save a ton of taxes. Here's another scenario. You know this couple. They own several investment rentals and they'd love to sell. Ideally, they'd use the money to get retirement income without any management headaches because they're tired of the terrible teas, the toilets, the trash, and the tenants. They're eligible for an exchange. Clearly, they're selling and exchanging investment property because they're selling the rentals that they owned, which require too much maintenance. But you can tell them they can sell, pay no tax, use the proceeds to buy an investment for retirement income that will require no management. They may be able to get an effective yield of 8 to 10%. And they won't be managing the properties. 
So they're probably going to improve their income and reduce their responsibilities. You'll get the listing and we'll take care of the exchange. They'll save a ton in taxes. Do you know this person? She sold her vacation home in the mountains because she wasn't using it much and decided she'd rather have a vacation home on the beach. She may be eligible for a 1031 exchange. Tell her she can sell the mountain home tax-free using a 1031 exchange. She will thank you with the listing and save a ton of taxes. And so this just brings up the point that people who are in a vacation rental that aren't getting the use out of it that they thought can reinvest in either a rental income or a vacation home that's somewhere else that they'd get more use from. Here's another common scenario. You know this person. He inherited a house from his mom and the house went up in value. Though he doesn't really want to keep the property, he's reluctant to sell it because he doesn't want to pay all the taxes. You can tell him that he can pay no tax if he reinvests with a 1031 exchange. Connect him with us and we'll educate him on his options. Typically he would owe tax on the increase in value from when he inherited the property. But with an exchange, you can avoid all the taxes and he can reposition the investment into something that better serves his needs. You can help him find that new property and we can help him save a ton of taxes through the exchange. As another scenario, how about this couple? They have three investment rentals to sell but they want to use the money to buy a home to retire in. If they sell and pay the taxes on the investment properties, they won't have enough to buy the home they really want. Well, they may be eligible for a 1031 exchange. If you let them know they can sell their investments, pay no tax through the use of an exchange, they can use the proceeds to buy a home that will someday become their retirement home. And if they play their cards right, they can even live mortgage free. We can tell them all the rules of how to get it done. You just need to identify the couple so you can offer them a turnkey solution. So as you can see, there are a variety of specialty exchanges which are available and you can use these in your practice as you meet prospects. All you have to do is identify the prospects that fall into the categories that we went over at the beginning of the session. You need to reach out to them using our free social media marketing tools and we'll take care of the rest. You'll be kept up to date and in the loop with an email and with a report that's available on our site. So you'll know who your prospects are. But now that you know these situations, you know who to speak to and what to do to get the conversation going. So your job is to get them registered. You can do that for them. You can help them walk through the process. And really the key is to really get this process moving forward so we can show them how this is all gonna work. That's right. Now the next time we're gonna be talking about another motivating factor for clients, which is the reinvestment vehicle. Mm, yes. We're gonna go through a lot of different investments that people are not aware of, so you may wanna watch this, that will motivate sellers to list, knowing that there are good things for them to invest so in. So that they know what to do next once they sell. So we've got options there, very important segment.